so this has been a for me this has been a fruitful dialogue between the European Union's subcommittee on human rights we discuss a lot of issues concerning the entire universe of human rights issues and moving forward we look at the revitalization extension of the GSP plus agreement which will expire December 31 of this year and we answered some of their concerns as well. Uh, we, we, may we ask uh, the European Union's uh, head of delegation to give a statement? Thank you so much, Senator Madanelumaga, everyone. Um, we had a very fruitful meeting, and I would like to thank the Senator as well as the whole Senate for receiving us so friendly. As you are all aware, the relations between the European Union and the Philippines has always been a very close one. We are receiving so many overseas Filipino workers who are crucial and instrumental to make our health systems, our construction, our truck driving, and all of that work in the European Union. And we have very strong trade relationships between the EU and the Philippines. Um, so this, against this backdrop, we were discussing, as we are the Human Rights Committee, a lot of human rights issues of concern. As you are aware, the European Union has been quite worried about the war on drugs and the extrajudicial killing happening in the past. We were discussing this and we are also very relieved to hear that right now the project is working more towards rehabilitation and prevention. We have also discussed other issues of human rights and I think it has been a fruitful and constructive meeting that makes me believe that we are moving in towards a more constructive engagement with the Ay paliwanag na natin yung position natin sa ICC na hinihingi natin yung kanilang respeto sa ginagawa ng ating bansa at pamunuhan bilang isang sovereign state. So hindi tayo kabilang sa ICC, ginagalang nila yon at nagkaroon man ng, ng dialogue na hindi naman mainitan, ay paliwanag natin yung ating position. So maganda yung dialogue, nailabas natin yung tungkol sa BJK, pinaunawa natin na walang karapatan yung ICC, Kinaunawa rin natin kung ano yung uh, ginagawa sa lower house, yung resolution tungkol sa ICC at yung final dito sa Senado. At, at pinaunawa rin natin yung ginagawa ng Senado. Uh, for instance, ang sabi ko, maraming nakafile na compensation fund bills para doon sa mga naging biktima ng human rights abuses, allegedly. At kabilang po rito, yung tinig-tinig ngayon ni Senator De La Rosa, yung Marawi Compensation Bill hindi lang patunay na pag may na pag may na abuso, pag may na matay gaya na nangyari sa Marawi, hindi ka bayar-bayaran ng pamahalaan. Nilabas ko rin po nilabas ko rin po at siguro karapatang gawin naman ng, ng Estado natin yung question natin tungkol sa kanila. Sabi ko, bakit ang daming inaabusong mga 83 yung Pilipinong na human trafficking sa Belgium recently. Sinabi ko rin, bakit yung mga truck drivers natin at ilang OFW ay bakit hinahire through third party sa Europe? Doon po nagkakaroon ng abuso. Violation din po yung sa human rights. Sinabi ko rin na marami rin tayong mga inaabusong mga Pilipina, mga OFW sa Middle East. Violation din yung sa human rights. Biktima rin po ang Pilipinas. Biktima rin po ang Pilipino. At yung karapatan ng ating mga seafarers, mga seaman, ay dapat igalang din po ng European Union. So, ganun po yung naging discussion. Although, confidential na yung mga details, yung answer nila. So, it was a wide exchange of views, broad enough to cover the entire spectrum of uh, what is the purpose of their mission here. So, 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 so paano, paano nag-conclude, sir, yung meeting? Ano yung commitment paano, na iniwan? They, they should respect us in as much in the same manner as we respect them. That's the principle of reciprocity. Well, hindi po ko nakarinig na informasyon na gano'n, ha? Pero kung totoo yan, dapat imbisigahan. Hindi po pwede yun na, ano yun, 30% lang binibigay, yung 70% binubulsa? 30% yung ginagawa ko rewards. Okay, yung 30% sir na nakapag-discate, nire-reward po doon sa pinigay in 4 months. Huh? 
Hindi, hindi. Masama yan. And you are perpetuating uh, the, the circulation of drugs in the streets. Pag ganun. So ano gagawin nung nirewardan mo doon sa 30%? So magkakuha ka ng, ng 10 kilos, 3 kilos, mapupunta doon sa informant. Tapos yung informant na yun, nindigusyon na naman niya yun, didistribute niya yun, bibinta niya. So wala katapos ang problema niya pag ganun. O... Oh, Ito o yan, ito o yan. Sinabi ko kahapon. Ari, mag-iibistiga tayo dyan. Ibistiga na ba yan? Oh, never yan. That has never been the policy of government na ang droga ang i-reward. Ay, napakaloko na polisiya yan. Kapag ganun, hindi. Merong nakaset na pera pang reward for reward purposes, but not drugs. Hindi mo pwede yung drugs. Kaya ka lang. Na. Ibisigahan natin yan. Hindi po pwede yan. So, ibig sabihin, para tayong g**k nito. Pabalik-balik ang problema. Sir, ano yung moto propyo? Pag-nakandangin ng hearing, kung mapapalagay ng reso? Pakinggan ko muna yung ano, paano sinabi ni General Lasso. Sasa mo na rinig. Sasa mo na rinig. Ha? Nag-hearing sila? Titignan ko ha? Sige, 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 tanongin ko. Sige, tawagan ko. Bago ko mo tayo ang resolusyon. Klaro natin. Ako mamaya sabihin niya, narinig lang niya niya. Pero kung sabihin niya, talagang totoong ganun ang pangyayari, hindi maganda yan. Ha? 